Hello there and welcome to another episode of Dynamics Navision uh, Business Central and today we are going to look at role centers in Business Central. Role centers, they help the user focus on what they are supposed to do in the system because the system is big, uh, the ERP system is big, and a particular user or a user group, there is that function that they usually use uh, most of the time, and that's why is the role tailored client is so important. And in Business Central, now role ta tailoring is like at its core because the department that was existing in the previous um, versions of the desktop uh, navigation where you could see all modules is not exist does not exist in this business central and so okay like uh, let me okay which role is this i've logged in or signed in as uh, the accountant this is the accountant role center so the accountant needs to see this so let me just refresh it uh just for okay so uh the accountant okay, role centers sometimes could have a caveat on speed but in the re uh the recent versions have configured them like when you refresh when or when you log in because this is the home page that you get it only loads this uh let me say this uh, actions menu on the top before loading the calculated details like these posted documents uh, with time they grow and they become big so they are loaded way later they are loaded on scroll so kindly be observant on the screen uh, as i scroll down they will be populated like the requests sent for approval, I have zero, but they were not populated. You see, my vendors wasn't populated, but it is being populated as I scroll down. So it is being loaded on demand. Okay, there is this graph. When I reach there, that's when it's being loaded. So it will be so intuitive because it will load when you need it. Not, uh, it is not loading everything on the page, but it is loading the minimal that it needs to display that particular page ah okay let's get our hands dirty i'll just for today we'll create a simple role center mm. a role center page i'll call it tutorial role center so i will use the snippet t page i thought there's a t role center snippet but apparently there, is, there isn't there's a page of type Role center, I hit my tab and then I will take this number. And as you have already guessed, that's the name. And the page type is role center. These pages they don't have, um, they don't pick, uh, what they have to call it, they do not have the uh, source table because they are all center pages display for the display purposes huh? okay so this is the layout the layout will give us um, uh, okay the home area of this page uh, the layout let me just go to the page when you are in the layout section this is now the layout not these are the actions but this is the layout these are these are home actions Home actions are the ones that when you click, you just open a page directly like customers, vendors. But now, uh, like this uh, uh, this header text here, it's an action. And it is customized. It even detects if it's evening or morning. And yes. So like the activities or these payments, all these are actions. So I will just put... Uh, let me just select an action 
I can use the approval entries, maybe for instance, and email status. Mm. Okay. So for this, you just enter a page part. Uh, T page part. Okay, there's no snippet. Let me just do a part and then. So the name of the part is approvals. And then the part will be approval activities. Okay, the convention is to mention to name it as activities. Let's say approval activities. This means that it is displaying approval entries, an activity that will give us approval entries. Yes, I and uh, it should be opened and closed because if you want uh, for the sake of properties if you want to add some properties in here um, so there is this creation action bar by default uh, the area of creation the creation action and it gives us an ability to enter a page let me just say okay uh let me say job queue i don't know job queue job queue entries job queue entries so that you can be able to enter job queues i'm not renaming them for now and we'll just use a few pages like for here let me just uh, put user setup page and uh, and the last embedding action I will run the page um, approval user setup. Um, okay. So I'm back to this action. I believe you can group this page part. Uh, before I run it and test, let me try to group it. Uh, okay, the group should not have that. Uh, admin administrator the name of the group and then this group will have this part and then let's add another part for the group let's say the other part will be I don't know which other page has the activities uh, tab it has detected that I've already used approvals. Uh, let me just say um, test. And then, okay. I don't know if there is job queue activities uh, or IT activities. IT operation activities. Eh? Okay, so this one will be IT operations. So I think for this video we'll just do that. Let's let me run and test our sample role center. It's been published and uh, it's tutorial role center. So we need to add a profile uh, that will map to that tutorial role center. So I go to profiles. And then I create a new profile known as tutorial and then tutor, tutorial. Is it tutorial? Tutorial role center. And then this is the role center page of <laughs> tutorial. <laughs> then finally. We have to specify the ID to be 5011. Since I know it, confirm yes, 5011. It's enabled, it's not the default, but it's enabled. And then you can specify if you disable personalization for users with such a profile. Uh, but for that now, we need it like that.
now um, I'll go to user personalization and then I yeah, okay I just need to go to my settings and then I change my role center to the tutorial role center and it is selected here and I'll click OK expect a blank page a, a little bit ugly for now but I think we have just getting started and here is the group that we created we we set the IT operations activities and the um, approvals in the next video we'll finish uh, all these other actions and uh, yeah we'll complete the remaining actions that are not yet done for the role center and add do a complete page for the tutorial role center we will we'll mix it up with different sections for finance the aim is to understand how to create these pages because they are so important in nav they will play a big part in helping the user save time and work well so god bless you see you in the next video